I think it's also up to us to not be silent when our society is going through such a volatile phase. I for one will not take the risk of silence anymore. Actor Parvati Jurevutu has proved to us time and again that she does not wish to be a passive player when it comes to fighting the patriarchy. She's not only vocal about the things around her that she sees are unfair, but she also truly owns the responsibility that comes with fame. Here are five times Parvati showed us how it is done, and I hate to break it to you, but a few people can do what she's been doing. Parvati is someone who does not shy away even when calling out the bigger names. She has called out Malayalam superstar Mamuti for playing an extremely misogynistic sexist cop in the film Kasaba. In the film, he plays a cop who is extremely aggressive and at one point when a female police officer swears at him, he grabs her by the belt and says that she will find it difficult to walk for a week. He also goes on to threaten another woman by telling her that he's going to make her miss her periods. Parvati went on to say, I was disappointed to watch an actor par excellence mouth dialogues to a woman that were not just derogatory but also deeply saddening. Cinema reflects society, many say, but the line to draw is whether to glorify a hero like this or not. She was later flooded by innumerable rape threats that Parvati reported and a few of those men even went to jail. Parvati isn't even afraid of taking on other heavyweights within the Malayalam film industry, including the ones who head the Association of Malayalam Movie Artists or called AMMA. Parvati, along with other female actors, formed the Women in Cinema Collective, an organization for women working mainly in the Malayalam cinema industry, a first of its kind in the Indian film industry. The Women's Collective was actually formed when Amma was accused of trying to protect the actor Dilip. Dilip was accused of being the mastermind behind the abduction and attack on a female actress within the industry. Parvati spoke out against Amma, saying, The AMMA Executive Committee has handled the entire issue with extreme duplicity, in a callous manner and with vested interests. Instead of standing up for what is right, they have revealed the deep-seated misogynistic bias and have closed ranks on us, thereby launching an attack on the biggest association within the Kerala film industry. In one of her interviews, a rather candid one at that, Parvati spoke extensively about feminism and even spilled the tea on the casting couch problems within the Malayalam film industry. There are people in the industry who ask women to sleep with them in order to get a role. I have been asked. They ask very blatantly as if it is their right. I have said no. In fact, Parvati is one of the only few people within the Malayalam film industry who have openly come out and spoken about the problem. Recently, in an actor's roundtable being conducted by Anupama Chopra, Parvati spoke at length about the depiction of toxic traits in a heroic manner. She went on to call out Kabir Singh and Arjun Reddy right in front of the actor Vijay Devara Konda who actually played Arjun Reddy in the film. She spoke about how she thinks actors should be more responsible with the films that they sign and should not glorify domestic abuse and toxic relationships. She said, As an actor, I can't stop a director from doing that, but I can choose not to be a part of that film. Parvati has always been clear about the roles that she takes up and wants to be responsible with the cinema that she associates herself with. Recently, she proved the point again by doing a film like Uyare. The film revolved around the inspiring story of an acid attack survivor. Talking about the film, she said, It is to raise awareness that they exist, that there is something majorly flawed in our system. Why do we still have acid that can be bought over the counter? And last but definitely not the least, Parvati shows us that she means business. Recently, she lodged a complaint against a man who was harassing her on social media, following which the police lodged a case against him. Parvati also stated how the man had been stalking her and her family for the last month. All said and done, Parvati is an excellent example of an actor who's trying to lead the change that we've been waiting to see for such a long time.